Researchers have found a way to turn CO2 into fuel. I'm Zach, this is Act e TV, and we need to take a look at this. Researchers from the Brookhaven National Institute in Upton, New York, released a paper yesterday describing how they were able to turn CO2 into CO, that's carbon dioxide into carbon monoxide. This is amazing because it gives us the ability to fight global warming and have an endless supply of fuel. CO2 is what we exhale when we breathe. It comes from our car exhaust, from burning wood, from burning a lot of different things actually, uh, coal, gasoline, oils. It's the biggest greenhouse gas out there. Generally, plants would take care of this by using the CO2 for photosynthesis. But unfortunately, we also like to cut down all of our trees and rainforests and stuff like that. So we don't even have the ability to properly maintain the carbon cycle. And that's where the discovery by the team at Brookhaven is such a game changer. In fact, according to Eli Stavitsky, he's an author on this paper, there are many ways to use carbon monoxide. You can react it with water to produce energy rich hydrogen gas or with hydrogen to produce useful chemicals such as hydrocarbons or alcohols. If there were a sustainable and cost efficient route to transform CO2 to CO, it would benefit society greatly. Don't get me wrong, this isn't the first time that scientists attempted or succeeded at doing this. The problem you face when you try to convert carbon dioxide to carbon monoxide is a hydrogen evolution reaction, which is when the molecule decides to split into hydrogen instead of splitting into carbon monoxide and oxygen. But you can get the effect you want using say gold or platinum. But that isn't efficient, that's not scalable. It's way too expensive to make it worthwhile to do. And that is what makes this study so groundbreaking, is they were able to use nickel atoms spread out over that wondrous material graphene to achieve a 97% efficiency, converting carbon dioxide to carbon monoxide. Now, according to Ho Xian Wang, he's another researcher on this project, nickel metal in bulk has really been selected as promising candidate for converting CO2 to carbon monoxide. One reason is that it performs HER very well and brings down the CO2 reduction selectively dramatically. Another reason is because its surface can be easily poisoned by CO molecules if any are produced. And that's where a single atom of nickel has different properties than a sheet of nickel. And that's why this new process is so amazing. Now we are at the infant stages of this. The paper did undergo its year-long review and was found scientifically sound. These results are reproducible. It's also been found that this can be scaled up. So now the team at Brookhaven Laboratory is working on a way to mass produce this at a level that will change our world. So how excited about this are you? This is a truly limitless supply of energy to get us away from dependence on fossil fuels. I mean, this is a way to fight global warming and give the planet energy. Let me know what you think about it in the comments down below. And if you enjoyed this episode, make sure to click that like button and subscribe so you know when I put out something new. Videos come out Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, and I'm going to start doing a top 10 on Saturdays. So I hope to see you here again soon. And until next time, would you have fun and be safe?